hey out there I can't wait for you guys to see my apartment tour I do live in a studio apartment it is 475 square feet it does not feel like that at all so if you want to see my decor please keep watching now what's so amazing about my apartment is when you first walk in you see this great living space as well as a bathroom and a kitchen because my studio apartment has an alcove where I got to create a makeshift wall with an Ikea bookshelf. And I kept it very light, very open, so there is no back to it. And I did that because I have these three great windows on the left side of my apartment. So I have a pond behind as well as a balcony behind my apartment so I can sit out, relax, and enjoy the summer weather, especially when the bugs aren't out. Um, I have a beautiful bedspread from Target and pillows are as well from Target. And I love my bookshelf just because it has such great memories. Um, my sister and my best friends are all pictures um, that I have on my bookshelf as well as tokens and everyday things that I need um, just to grab and go. And as you can tell, all of them are in odd numbers. And I did get that tip from Robeson Design. So when you do style anything things look better in odd numbers so I definitely did that with my bookshelf and I thought it turned out great I got my lamps from Target my lampshades from Goodwill and I love my couch because it shows just how much storage you can get in a little apartment so I have a lot of blanket space and everything for when girls night gets too rowdy or you just need an extra um, area to sleep when friends or family come in. And now you really get to see how much storage you can put in this Ikea couch. And it is definitely the best thing I could have bought um, for this studio apartment as well. And it does pull out to a queen size bed. Like I said, in case girls night gets a little rowdy or friends or family come in, they can definitely stay. I haven't had any complaints yet, it's comfy. I love my green chair I got from Home Goods, and my TV stand is actually my nightstand. Um, and as you can see, I have a bar cart, and I actually got the bar cart from Ross. Me and my mom created it together, and we were able to get the scandal glasses, so they're hanging right there where they should be, so obviously you know where my priorities are. Wine first. Um, <laughs> now you can see my kitchen. It's small, but it definitely packs a punch. Um, I have a great command center that is up on the side of the wall where I get to know my schedule and um, any bills that need to be done are there as well. I didn't have a lot of drawer space so I created a um, pencil spinner to a silverware spinner and I have as much room as I can on the counter. I use all of it. Um, I definitely cook and clean all in one swoop because I don't have a dishwasher, but I'm only one so it makes sense. Now I have my pantry, which I am celiac and I have to be gluten free and dairy free. So I do have a lot of gluten free and dairy free items in my pantry. And if you want to see any meal prep ideas, I can definitely do that as well. Um, I created a shoe storage into a pantry storage, which I love. Um, my bathroom is actually really long, and I have some really great accessory areas as well. When you walk in, you really see my accessories on the side, which basically is my 
towel holder, but I converted that into a jewelry holder. And I have my makeup storage above my toilet as well. And I really, really love my balcony. So I have such great little chandeliers that I got at some craft shows as well as the middle one I did myself and I love that little chandelier piece so if you want to see a tutorial I found it on Pinterest I can do that for you guys as well now a treat is you guys get to see my apartment at night definitely one of my favorite aspects of my apartment is the nighttime where you can just sit down pull out the couch watch a movie and have your scandal glass with some wine and just enjoy being at home relaxing and being in that beautiful place thank you so much for watching and please subscribe